Welcome to KJ's Talking Sports, where playoff dreams come to die. Now that we've taken care of the fact that I look nothing like <laughs> Sam Hornish. We're going to bring exactly that up again. Like We're not we'll bringing it up exactly again. It's like over. Him. We're done, okay? We are done. <laughs> <laughs> we are done. We are done. Change come cameras. On, on, there we go. There we go. Dick Vitale's dream comes true as the Basketball Hall of Fame calls his name. A former jazz man will also be enshrined. More on that in a second, but first, the national championship game. There it is right there, the plasma TV being delivered right now into the Johnson household. I feel like a combination between Ed McMahon and Hanukkah Harry. It's a great night. Glad to be here. Better than being uh, home eating ice cream. Mmm. That's debatable. Okay, thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> that was the greatest ending to a segment ever. <laughs> Here, see, shake hand. That's how please, please. Dan, I'm wondering if they know that you're a Florida grad. Not yet, Dave, not yet. <laughs> Wait till this happens. The Playmates will be here, I'm told, this weekend. The race is on Saturday, Mark. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Do they drive, Dan, or do they just hang out? I think they pretty much just hang out. No pun intended. No. <laughs> oh, I must say, I love Ohio State. I love Ohio State as Gator bait, as Gator bait. Have me here regardless. Nice to see both of you. Glad you're doing very well. Live reaction from All-Star Weekend in Las Vegas as we start talking sports. Oh, my birthday party. Yeah, hell, we're going to have a big uh, hold down. <laughs> Ronnie Brewer and C.J. Miles had Lil John at their birthday party. Jerry Sloan's got Sir Mix-a-Lot and DJ Jazzy Jeff for number 66. Or he's got an early bedtime. As an overmatch, Clippers Club crawls into town, loses of nine straight in Salt Lake and overall. Memo and Ronnie Brewer both out with a flu. There's the play of the game. Paul Millsap poking the ball away. Darren Williams throws down on Chris Kamen. Part of a 12-2 run. Jazz by 18 in the second quarter. Carlos Boozer. 34 points, 17 rebounds, 56-43 Utah at the half. Williams had 32 points and 10 assists. No Andre Kirilenko after the first nine minutes because of leg spasms. They didn't need him. Jazz run away with it, 121 to 101. Afterward, Darren played it cool about the big jam. It's another, another, another dunk. On Chris Kane in the number three shot blocker. It was good. He had three fouls, so he said he would put me on my butt if, I, if he didn't have fouls. <laughs> Oh, BYU and Utah probably don't want this concept to catch on. Davidson College offered a free bus ride, hotel, and tickets to any student who wanted to go to their Sweet 16 game tonight against Wisconsin. 300 took them up on it. There would have been more, but they couldn't find more buses. Stephen Curry makes it well worth the 10 and a half hour trip from Charlotte to Detroit. The son of former jazz man Del Curry goes off for 33 points, six threes. He outscores Wisconsin by himself in the second half, 22 to 20. And Davidson is dancing to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1969. Kansas will stand in the way of Davidson's first trip to the Final Four. Texas trounces Stanford by 20. The Longhorns will tangle with Memphis on Sunday. All four number ones make it through to the Great Eight. All four number ones have never made it through to the Final Four. We headed down in Oakland and we went to the barber shop. Excuse me, uh, we got any jazz fans in here by any chance? Jazz fans? <laughs> Is that, a, is that a yes? No! What's the difference between Salt Lake City and Oakland? A oh, big, big difference. Salt Lake City, I don't even, what's, where's that? I don't even, <laughs> Salt Lake City, I don't, I, but that sounds like somewhere I don't want to go. I wasn't getting the answers I wanted necessarily out of the jazz as far as answers to their problems, so I went to the next best place, a pagan festival. Anything you guys can do to help out the jazz? Because they're getting beaten up by the Warriors. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, um, that's a very good question. We don't play really basketball, but we have other, I guess you'd say if jumping a cauldron is a sport, it's sort of a sport. You can't make the Warriors disappear for the jazz, can you? <laughs> I'm afraid that's a little bit out of our out of our league. My feeling is is that it's going to go to the Warriors, and and that's my read. We're going to have to see what will win, persistence or agility. Mm. That's a pretty nice job of breaking it down. Yeah. Are there any rituals you could help us out with though? <laughs> no. So it's in the cards for the Warriors in Game Four. That that would be my read. That's exactly right. Can it extend beyond? Can it tell you about the series? That wasn't a question. We'd have to lay another spread to 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 speak to that. And that was another $15 that I simply did not have, DJ. By the way, you think I can expense a tarot card reading?
quarterback is kind of the key to this game in a lot of ways, isn't he? Ilama. Kaipanoa. Kaheyako and Hana. I'm not even going to try to say his name. The quarterback, uh, the quarterback. What's his name again? Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. <laughs> I have a visual aid if you need some help. Yeah, I would. I, would. I like that. Woo! Kaipanoa. Kalahiki. Kahiku. Kaiko. And Hana. I've been around a lot of Pacific Island players for the last few years, and I still I can't pronounce it. Yeah, that wasn't too close. <laughs> Your teammate, your quarterback's name. Kaipo Yaka Hata. Any idea what's going on? Nope. No. <laughs> you guys are his teammates, right? Yeah, we just call him Kaipo though. The last name we leave to the reporters to do it. I need you to help me pronounce somebody's name real quick. Alright. You know how to pronounce this guy's name? I can try. Kaipo no Kaiyaku and Hata. How did you know that? I don't know. Wild guess, I guess. All right, seriously, do you sometimes struggle with the pronunciation of your own name? Depends how fast I'm trying to say it. Kaipanoa, Kaheyaku and Hana. Kaipanoa means um, uncharted waters. My last name means uh, final word. Uh, uh. And uh, so what's the final word on the game on Thursday? I don't know, you have to wait to see. Are you the final word on the game on, on Thursday? It's a team sport. Ilama. Out here supporting the community and you know showing that we're all good people we want the fans to come to our games and just have a good time by pulling a truck though one two three yeah we, we do what we got to do you know <sighs> we're the defending champs so we we plan on coming out big ultimate is he back there is a strategy okay. and, and we don't tell people <laughs> i think just pull really hard <laughs> now we've got a little rumor going around that the, the driver might be breaking on us a little bit are you going to be on the brake when the Aggies are going? We might put the brakes on the trailer a little bit, slow them down. Yeah, we hear that's the conspiracy, put the brakes on. Yeah, we'll see what happens when they get going, if they go too fast. Make sure the brakes off. We might put the brakes on the trailer a little bit, slow them down. Talking to the guy at the news station. I was like, dude, we're defending champs. We're going to come out and dominate. We might put the brakes on the trailer a little bit, slow them down. If we get our if we get our kicked, I'm going to be yeah, we'll see what happens when they get going, if they go too fast. One, two, three! We came here, we competed, and we won. And we broke our record from last year, so they're pleased about that. So hopefully that means we're stronger. Is this any sort of uh, springboard now to the opening of the season? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully uh, there's going to be more of that to come. Utah State, hey, Aggies all the way. Go Aggies, go Aggies, hey, hey, hey.